the first show we've done since is. the Euros began, of course. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. You watched every mm. game? Yep. It was the only one I didn't watch. It was a rubbish yesterday afternoon. Uh, North Macedonia. Against Austria. Yeah, I did bother. I literally saw it and I thought, do you know what? I'm, I'll even tell everyone when I'm on air tomorrow, I didn't watch it. Okay. I mean, to be honest with you, I was in a pub all day. Right. I mean, it was up on it was television on, yeah. screen. If I, I tested mean, I was, you on it, I can... You know, you don't test no. me on it. Don't oh, well. test me on it. Okay. Uh, what have you made of the Euro so far? I know it's early days yet, early doors. Um, you enjoyed it? Yeah. I mean, yes. Uh, I mean, you, it's hard to, to work out. Does it feel like the Euros? It does, I think. It does. Yeah, especially yesterday. And when, yeah. you know, when down the pub in England scored it. Yeah. So it's all, it's all, yeah, so I'm, I'm enjoying okay. it. I mean, that, that was a bit of a bit of a bore fest the last game we watched, to be honest with you. Do you want to talk about that quickly? Yeah. Spain? I mean, look, Sweden, we knew Matt Holland and Jim Proudfoot for the game. We're talking about the sort of game we're going to see, and they've got it spot on. They were going to sit deep, going to soak up pressure and try and catch them on the counter. And they nearly got away with it. Yeah, they did. Sweden. They, they, had, they had the best chances in the second half. Yeah. Rata should have scored. They had a couple of half chances. I thought, I thought Spain were disappointing, actually. They don't... That that cutting edge, that, that a little bit of know-how up top where they had, you know, the likes of Fabregas, who's been on telly, Xavi, and his, you know, that, that, those types of players... Didn't didn't know how to unlock Sweden. They no. defended very very well. Do you like the Swedish striker? Do you like the look of him? Yes, I, 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 you got happy feet. Yeah, he, 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 he done all right. I mean that that chance he set up at the far post. What was his name? Usak Isak Isak Isak. Is it yeah? The boy, the boy Isak. The boy, the Isak. boy Isak. The lad is he a lad? The no, lad the Isak. No, it sounds better with the boy. The, the boy, boy Isak. Isak. And uh, yeah, I thought anyway. He was feeding off scraps for a lot of the time, but the boy is hack. The boy is hack. Um, but what? Yeah, I like the look of him. Yeah, done all right. But okay. they'll, they'll be Spain a little bit. <laughs> yeah, if you pick them beforehand, you'd be a bit I, disappointed I, now. I, I, yeah, I'll be. So I mean, Jose said um, that he doesn't see Spain getting to the final when he's uh, from what I've just seen there. He's absolutely yeah. spot on. Tomorrow night's going to be a corker, isn't it? Argent, uh, Argentina. 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 Did they make it into the Euros? Germany against G- France. Germany, France. Oh, Argentina. Yeah. Why was that in my head? Yeah, I don't know. Got two of the heavyweights. That's what you say. Heavyweights of European football. football. They have. Yeah, heavyweights. Yeah. The big dogs. <laughs> the big guns will the be out. The big guns are we'll out. Take calls on the back of that. And just mm. incidentally as well, of course, we're on uh, YouTube every night from from ten all the way up to midnight mm. on Friday night. Mm-hmm. I'm still waiting to find out what time we're on air. But when the game finishes, the England game against Scotland, we're taking calls on the back. Yeah, of we it. are. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. that. Let's work backwards. Let's talk mm-hmm. a bit about Scotland, shall we? First, yep. you watched the game. I, I thought Scotland had chances. I thought if they had, if they had, if they had a better strike force, better players that could put the ball away, they would have got something out of that game. I agree with you. You know, they, they, there wasn't a lot to choose between no. the two sides. It was just two really. I mean, the, the header from Schick, the first one, it's such a good header. You know, he's between two players. Not only he's got to win the edit, he's got to guide it away. It's a brilliant header, and of course, the strike. I mean, do you blame the goalkeeper? I don't. There has to be an element of blame because of how far off his line he yeah, was. How far off his arm is he? Um, he was on the edge of the, 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 the six-yard box. edge in the uh, the semicircle, apparently. What, he the, was at the halfway line. Halfway. He was no, he edge. wasn't. Yeah, but I think he was quite a long way out. I think it was on the. I think it was yeah, on the, um, the spot, spot in the middle. Spot, yeah, no, he, he wasn't. He wasn't. I don't. Know, I don't but it he, was a freak goal, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, the goalkeepers do that. They they, they they stand in that position for any balls over the top. So I'm not. Have a goalkeeper out of his box. There is nothing wrong with that. But how far out your box you go, that shouldn't happen, mate. There's no way he should get lobbed from the halfway line. That shouldn't happen. It shouldn't. I, I know, but... I, it shouldn't I, happen. But, but that shot's so difficult. I see so many players... So he still shouldn't get beat from there. He shouldn't, should Are he? Are you blaming... I don't know. He's it's got it's such a, a freak result. It's such, a, such a freak moment. Oh, mate, the, you know, on, the, that, the way the ball broke, the where the goalkeeper was, the, the way he hit take, it, the way it bent in. All of that is true. Yeah, and it was like, you know, the, the gap between the goalkeeper's fingers. All of and that the, is true, but he should not get beaten from no, that. Okay, open play. No, I agree with that. Know? He should not, but it he's, was still a bit of a freak yeah, goal. It was, a, was it a freak goal? It was a freak okay. goal. Um, but, you know, he meant it. You know, he's meant that. From yeah. what you've seen of Scotland and what you've seen of England, we'll talk England, yeah. England in a moment, anything that you're worried well, about on Friday? I thought I don't think Scotland actually played that badly. Right. They had chances. They had a couple of really Dykes had a couple of chances. Really, the, the goal kick made some some good saves. He, sh- he should have at least had one. But I, I think there's there's something to to be to be said for their performance. They didn't get any of their result on the day, and mm. you know they'll be disappointed with that. But I, I've seen enough there for me to say, you know what, this this is not going to be an easy game. I'm really? Not, yeah. I, don't, I think it'll be an easy game. Well, I I not, well Tierney will be back. They. they Clearly, him and Roberts had a great relationship down that left-hand side. That was a <clears> that was a big blow before the game, and of course, it's England Scotland, mate. And if it, the, the the form book, I mean, I'll say it, it always goes out, never goes out of a door. No, it goes out of a window. The form book 
goes out the window. I don't know if form books I, I do go out of windows anymore. I don't know if it does. Right. Oh, well, this is Scott and fans. You can have your say on that. And of course, the England game that's approaching on Friday night. We take calls on the back of it. Oh eight seven one seven double two double three. The Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.